Hey everyone, I'm Sean, and I obviously forgot my hat today. Welcome to Rectum. Uh, today I want to talk about coronavirus, and most specifically, I want to mention, I want to talk about the hoarding of toilet paper, and how bizarre this is for uh, an upper respiratory disease. Uh, maybe people don't quite get the use of toilet paper and what an upper respiratory disease means. So anyway, and go ahead and click like, click subscribe, and um, click the little bell icon. You'll get a notification whenever I put up a new video. Uh, I do a lot of reviews of things, and this is a review of current events. Uh, that is the hoarding of toilet paper. I go through the store last night. First, I went through Costco a few days ago, and all the toilet paper was... The, the, the toilet paper section was filled with bottled water. You can buy all the bottled water you need, not a roll of toilet paper to be found. Uh, and I went to Safeway last night and the paper good aisle is cleaned out. Somebody somewhere came up with this idea to gather up and buy, buy all the toilet paper because of this horrible virus. Ooh, coronavirus. And they came up with this idea to buy up all the toilet paper and then somebody else saw the, the shelves were bare I better buy the toilet paper. And then they bought it. And then this panic came, and this pandemic of buying toilet paper came up, and everybody bought it. And everyone is, there are people with huge supplies of toilet paper. And I want to address the, the low attention span or the short attention span of we Americans. A lot of people are gonna to go to garage sales pretty soon and buy toilet paper at outrageous prices. Stop. Let the people that bought all the toilet paper live with garages full of toilet paper. Don't buy it. This coronavirus, this COVID-19, this Wuhan virus, whatever you want to call it today, is going to go away. It's going to run its course. It's going to get to be the, uh, the summertime. When we see viruses go away and the flu virus go away, we don't get the flu in the summer. We're probably already starting our downward trend as of today, 3 16 2020. So I, I'm just this isn't a real public service announcement for anybody. This is just something that's it's and I'm not a doctor. Um, this is just something that's being blown way out of proportion. It's like the most horrible thing you've ever seen. Well it is if you're old and so is the flu which kills I think they said 20,000 Americans every year. COVID-19 is different though. It's um, always scarier. We didn't have the COVID-19 uh, flu shot. We all, most of us got a flu shot. It still kills 20,000 of us every year. Um, the COVID-19 is something that's available for any of us to get. And as it turns out, it's, some people don't get any symptoms from it. Um, I have a friend that was hospitalized uh, about two days after we had lunch together when he wasn't feeling very well um, and they didn't test him for COVID-19 but he was symptomatic of what looked like a respiratory infection, a uh, respiratory virus. They never tested him. He was in the hospital. He's recovering now at home, doing well uh, and I never got bothered and maybe I got it. Maybe one of the people that didn't, uh, that doesn't show symptoms. I don't know what happened. I don't know what he has. When he gets back to work, I'll talk to him. I'll see what's going on. But when I'm you know, the, the, the major takeaway from what I want to say today is stop buying all the toilet paper. Leave it alone. Save some for others. If you've purchased a car full of toilet paper, you are a scumbag. And if you go to a garage sale and you see somebody charging five bucks a roll for toilet paper because it's not on the shelf and you give that person five bucks, you are a scumbag. Think of something else to use. Whatever napkins, paper towels, do not buy it from the people that bought all the Purell, all the hand sanitizer, all the toilet paper. Don't buy their stuff. You have to show them this is a great idea to hoard it. If you die, you die with a garage full of toilet paper. When we all recover, you have a garage full of toilet paper. This is how it goes. So please have a longer attention span. Think about this. Think about other ways to wipe your bottom and let the people that bought all the toilet paper 
keep it. Love the people that have a closet or a room in their house full of toilet paper that they can't use that room or that garage space anymore because it's full of toilet paper. Let them live like that. Let them have that. Let them give it away at a garage sale. Or better yet, go ahead and buy it at a garage sale when the price is lower than going to the store to buy it. The toilet paper will be back. Simmer down. Take a deep breath. Here's the virus. It's going to make some people sick. It's going to kill some people. From what I understand, it's under 3%. And those people are really sick or immune compromised. And any flu would kill them. Relax. Take a deep breath. Stay inside. Hang out with the family. Going for a walk. As of the last time I checked, perfectly safe. Go play with your kids. Go play some football. Get some hockey sticks. Play some hockey in the yard. Have fun. Go swimming. Have a cookout in your backyard. Enjoy your life. If you get a couple days off of work, use it. You don't have to be cooped up. Take a walk. Get some fresh air. Don't buy all the toilet paper. It's just ridiculous. Why? Why would people buy all the toilet paper? It's the first thing that goes. You got all the toilet papers gone. And when you see it at a garage sale, I'm going to say this one last time, and then I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I'm going to let you go. i say this just one last time. When you see the toilet paper at a garage sale, don't buy it. If their price is lower than Costco, if their price is lower than online, if their price is lower than Walmart, okay, and buy it. Otherwise, let them sit. Let them sit on the toilet paper. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Buying up all the toilet paper. And it's like, a, it's like a weird practical joke when you think of it. To buy up all the toilet paper. The bottled water. There was tons of it. Pallets of bottled water where the toilet paper once was. Wait a minute. If there's some kind of thing that shuts down our water supply or something, the water is really important. The toilet paper, not that important. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Sean. You've tuned in to Rectum. You learned a little bit about buying toilet paper today, I think. And you didn't learn anything about the flu or COVID-19 other than this is going away. You're going to live. I'm going to live. Maybe a couple of you aren't going to live. Maybe I'm not going to live. Who knows? There are lots of things out there to kill you. And COVID-19, it doesn't have much of a likelihood of doing it from what I'm seeing. So anyway, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Share this with your friends. And remember, do not buy toilet paper at a garage sale. Let them keep it. Let the people that bought it all up learn a lesson when their house is full of toilet paper. You can teach them. You have that ability. So thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Give a thumbs up. Bye-bye.